Hey there, friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk, and this is going to be kind of a mishmash of an episode. So I have been struggling with trying to keep up with making videos recently, uh, specifically because I go to sit down and try to record something, and my brain just starts spinning out of control. And I've been spending the past couple of weeks thinking, as a Sarah does, which is quite dangerous sometimes, and thinking about, you know, why does this keep happening and what does this mean for like me and my content and everything like that? Like two years ago when I started this YouTube journey, I was so gung ho and so excited. I had I felt like I had an endless supply of things to talk about, especially because I've got access to all these great books. I've got access to all this great information. And, you know, I've been feeling rather defeated the past couple of weeks with myself. And it's just because I feel as if everything's been talked about and that I don't have very much more to contribute to it and I'm having a hard time grasping and identifying with specific things. It feels as if I make a video and talk about what feels like my truth in this specific moment and then I go back literally like a half hour later and edit the video and I'm like wow I've actually moved past that and have moved to a higher level of consciousness or awareness than the person I was a half hour ago. And it was really great because Kyle Cease talked a bit about this in his oneness call. And I talk so much about Kyle because I resonate so much with the information that he's sharing. It's like I've had what he's been saying in my body and stored in there. And he's just finally giving it like some kind of substance, something kind of tangible. All of these ideas and stuff for me feels like like this whole huge like consciousness thing and like it just you know manifesting vibrations quantum physics what have you for me specifically it feels like I'm literally trying to like capture air in my hands and then try to describe what it is and it's honestly impossible or you take your hands you fill it with a little bit of water and you could see it for a hot second but the second you open up your fingers it kind of just you know seeps and falls right through and I've had all these great ideas to talk about all these different new levels of consciousness that I've been hitting and all these different like points of view and understandings. And then like I go to try to talk about it and then it's gone. It's kind of like a dream. So what I've decided to do instead of allowing the perfectionist pattern to win within my body and also to kind of exercise, you know, feeling like I can't be wrong and allowing myself to be wrong. And kind of doing what I really wanted to do with these videos in the first place. And it's just to kind of, you know, tell my perspective, share my side of reality of this one present moment, this one singular moment from the point of view of a Sarah Rusk. And instead of trying to teach somebody something, instead of trying to make content that has value Instead, doing what I've been hearing from all these great people like Rick Rubin and even Kyle talks about this, too, and creating content that is kind of therapeutic for myself and in turn having it serve and help other people. Because that's just because for me right now, that's just what feels right. So buckle up because content's going to be a change in doesn't mean that you will or will not get something out of it. If you listen with an open mind, you might. And if you disagree with something, ask yourself why and see what resonates and is true within you. Literally, the only thing I ask is that you just watch these with an open mind because there's there's so much that's been happening. I understand so much while not being able to get it out. It's on such a like energetic vibrational level that it's just this this meat suits having a hard time processing everything. It's it's kind of unreal. I came across something really random over the weekend and it was from, I think it was the CIA or the government or something like that, way back in the early 2000s, released some classified or they're now unclassified documents about like uh, the, the gateway experience in the gateway project or something where people were, were able to get into specific states where they could do remote viewings, they can have out, out of body experiences and such. And I came across a video that Aaron Darty had posted a while ago about missing page 25 and you know what was on that page specifically and when I read what was on there I was like holy crap this is all stuff that I have been feeling like innately in my body and what I've specifically been going through it talks all about self-knowledge and knowing the self which is what has been really coming up with in my reality lately it's a lot of we're not giving you things to associate yourself with However, we're giving you more of, let's figure out who the heck Sarah Rusk is. 
Lots of, oh, this triggers me. Okay, I'm aware of that. Oh, this makes me feel happy. Great. Oh, I feel like I could associate myself with this. Fantastic. I talked last week about how I got a new therapist. And in the questionnaire, they ask, you know, what kind of religion do you subscribe to or what are your practices? And all I put on there was I meditate (laughs) and I kind of just am me. But honestly, I'm not even that. I just am. And I have hit a point within my life where I don't want to specifically call myself anything. I just I just am like I don't want to be a speaker. I don't want to be well known for something. I don't want to be an author. I don't want to be an artist. Those are all things that I thought I had wanted. Like right now, obviously that's going to change a whole bunch once I try on, you know, a whole bunch of different hats and kind of get through whatever it is, if I even get through it, if there is even anything to get through. But once this energy kind of settles down within me, it's going to be really cool to see what kind of stuff I'm capable of doing. But right now in the process, whatever process is happening for me, (laughs) this, this growth, so to speak. I feel uncomfortable with everything. I feel so unbelievably lost and like nothing feels right in my body. And I've had a lot of that the past couple of days. I've been journaling so much, just being like, this is bothering me. This is making me angry. I have this intense energy running through me. I feel sad. And I don't, I don't feel lonely or anything. It just, it feels like I have no ambition and that I have nothing to work towards. You know, not even with anything with this channel, like I hit my goal of a thousand subscribers. Now it's like, oh, it'd be great to be to monetize myself and everything or whatever. But why? Like what within me? What's what am I trying to fill? What need am I trying to fill by making money off of this? Like, what am I going to do with that money? What more expansion am I going to get and whatever? And then I get stuck in this loop of, well, you could get a house. And it's like, but I'm already in a really nice house right now. Like, yes, one day it'd be great to have my own house but I'm really, I'm okay right now. And then there's the idea of, but you could expand yourself and try going for different things and trying to push yourself outside of your limit. And I thought about what Kyle had said, where certain things, if they feel uncomfortable, especially with someone like myself, who has been working so hard on myself, when you are in a bad situation, it's going to feel very heavy and very uncomfortable which is why I've been having a hard time turning on the camera. I have so many dud videos of me just like flubbing my words. And as you could see now, like I'm kind of flowing fairly easily because this feels easy to me and this feels like the right thing to say, hence why I'm saying it. But if I had something scripted and you could tell from some of my older videos too, where it doesn't flow as nicely and it kind of feels like closed ended where this, it just flows and it feels like it's so open. And what Kyle had said on Sunday is the things, especially for sensitive people and people who are doing this amount of work, we aren't able to do the old like nine to five stuff, the stuff that doesn't feel good or resonate with us. It's going to feel impossible to do because there's a whole new world that is coming through right now with a whole new frequency. And I have been feeling this for about 10 years and I never realized it was a thing. I just shamed the shit out of myself and said, wow, I am so lazy or wow, I don't want to do all of this stuff, which is so far from the truth. I don't ever stop. I don't ever sit still and I'm constantly looking for things to talk about or to learn from. And it's just certain things just don't expand me. And one other thing, too, that's been coming up a lot for, you know, within Kyle's stuff that I've been reading, that I've been hearing is as you start to know yourself more more choices start to appear that weren't there before. Like instead of it being, you know, path A, which is all bright and sparkly or path B, which is all like dark and cloudy and stormy, path C is going to appear, which kind of has like a little bit of both. But ultimately it takes you to where you want to go faster and also has a much better outcome that you never would have thought of because it just randomly appeared because you are finally at a frequency or a vibration that allows yourself to get there. And from what I have found that has worked the best for me to get to that that point to have option C or much more choices is to keep knowing who I am to know myself, to sit with myself in silence. And for some reason, things start to make sense. And the more that I interact with the sleepy people, so to speak, the ones who aren't on any kind of journey like this spiritual or growing journey whatsoever, who are totally content and okay with being at the level that they're at. And there's absolutely no problem with that. They are a great reflection for me to see how far I've come. I stop and I look at them and I see how they are. And I'm like, oh my goodness, wow, I have actually grown so much. I'm just not interacting with these kind of people enough to see how much I have grown. They are reflecting, they are a mirror showing me 
how much I have expanded. So, you know, friend, when you start to feel kind of down, like you've, you've been doing all this self-work and then you see someone getting something that you've always wanted or seeing someone get into a relationship and you're like, oh, but why? Like, I'm such a better, I'm a much better person, blah, blah, blah. First of all, that might be your ego talking, just throwing that out there. But second of all, taking a moment to see that maybe their journeys aren't reflecting yours. And I was thinking about this too. I'm like, you know, I am this kind of person who is really working on trying to just be the best version of myself. Why haven't I found anybody that matches that in kind of like a romantic sense? And then I just stopped and I thought to myself, I was like, I'm such a mess right now that there's absolutely no way. And then in that, I thought about if I was not doing this work, I would have settled for somebody and I probably wouldn't have been happy. And for what? So I could post it all over Facebook and Instagram to be like this fake happy person, the faux happy? Like, no, thank you. I would rather have nothing on my social medias besides the pretty pictures that I take, of course. And I'm a photographer, by the way. <laughs> and keep working on knowing who I am. I would much rather die knowing who I am, who this real amazing bombastic Zara Rusk is, than ha being a person that just has stuff and is miserable on the inside. Being able to be a person who can provide value for somebody to show up in a room and just have this awesome magnetic energy without even trying with just being it like that is something that I really would like to to be one of these days I'm also trying to hack reality but that's a story for a different day and one last thing I'm going to end you with too if you really want to see how how much you've grown as a person go back and watch an episode of a show that you loved like that came out like 10 years ago eight years ago I went back and rewatched Orange is the New Black because it was one of my favorite shows about like seven or eight years ago, nine years ago, something like that. And I loved it. And I'm getting such a reaction from watching it because I'm like, oh, my God, we used to talk to people like this or like, I can't believe like TV got away with stuff like this. And just the way that, you know, the some of the, the characters are treated and such like the feeling of unjust in my body, like I'm really like internalizing it so hard when empaths like connect to all these characters. And of course I do, because that's just what I do. But it's really awesome to see, you know, where my morals and values stand. And like if I was in the situation, like how I would handle it compared to and I remember how I thought when I was younger watching it because obviously like that's still a version of me she's still like in here somewhere that that energy is still in here um but it's a really cool reflection to see how much I've grown so just kind of throwing that little bit out there and yeah oh my god this felt so good oh I love this I love this I love making videos like this I'm excited to kind of show up here as much as I can and just to talk about what I'm feeling because I really feel like this is just what this is the era that I am in. Sarah's in the talking about feelings era. So if you're here for it, great. Hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it, friend. Remember, empower yourself. Get to know yourself. Know thyself and love yourself no matter what. That's so important. And just promise me you'll keep singing. Okay, friend? Mm -hmm.